This one's for Eris Morn. <clears throat> if you're listening to this, congrats on killing me. I assume you became a hive death god and fed me to your worm cult? <sighs> that or you just finally got sick of me. Coincidentally, if you didn't kill me and still somehow hear this, I'm sorry for stealing your ship. And, well, pretty much every other interaction we ever had. But to be clear, if you did kill me, I do not apologize, and I will consider all my actions 100% justified. Either way, feel free to put your rock on my maps now. I don't need them anymore. This one's for that armless coward, Tanix the Scarred. If you're listening to this, you killed me. But I bet I took a big chunk of your ugly husk with me. Guess Andal Brask wasn't enough for you, huh? You wanted another Hunter Vanguard for your sick collection? I got my share of regrets, sure. But not putting a bullet in you has got to rank in the top three. Won't be long before a better guardian than me puts you in your place. Just wish I could be there to see it. This one's for the fellow who calls himself the Drifter. You did warn me running with you would put a target on my back. I guess I'm in good company, though, huh? After all, never had any fun without a little risk. That's the whole idea with the operation you're putting together, ain't it? My idea, by the way, had it like a million years ago, back when you were still handsome. So, uh, you're welcome. You know, getting that up and running means coming out of hiding. Giving you-know-who another shot at you. Hope I was around to see that showdown. Personally, my money was on the guy with the golden gun. But hey, what do I know? I'm dead. Petra, if you're listening to this, you killed me. Maybe the Sobs, in all their mysterious wisdom, decided they were sick of me? If the Queen ordered the hit, I guess I understand. You're a real glutton for chivalry. But if it was Aldrin, I'm pissed. Just thinking about that peacock gives me a headache. But I'm betting my death was not a case of your famous collateral damage. Because you're a real do-gooder. Seriously, it's annoying. But good deeds never go unpunished when you're around. You just... You got a blast radius, PV. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Oh, and uh, tell Paladin Orin, if the sun over Nessus escapes nebula cycle, evac labor after dawn under solstice. You got that, PV? This one's for the mimes behind the deep stone crypt. You think just because you made me, you can unmake me? Hey, I understand. I were you, I wouldn't want people knowing what I did either. Guess you better hope I didn't tell anyone about the crypt. Or about the, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, long, slow whisper. Because if I did, that would be real bad for you, huh? I may be dead, but I guarantee you ain't heard the last of me. Here's one for Soraya Hawthorne. You know, when I told my ghost I'd be making one of these for you, she left. I didn't have to tell you that. Just wanted to make you feel bad. In my defense, if you're listening to this, you did kill me. I mean, if it was a fair fight, mano a mano, I'd win. No question. But I can see you planning out some convoluted, meticulous trap. Some would call that paranoia. Me? I call it being a hunter. So, here's your next hunter lesson. Looking after your own. Speaking of which, congratulations, you are now the proud owner of the Colonel. Now, she only eats sesame seed muesli and drinks purified spring water with a sprig of parsley. Play nice, you two. This one's for any hunter who kills me. Best guess, Marcus Wren? You realize you get my stuff now. All my stuff. Including the Hunter Vanguard gig? Yeah. Congratulations, dummy. That's what we call a Vanguard dare. Sucks, doesn't it? Okay, brace yourself for some advice, Hotshot. One, know your people. Like my Nessa scout, Quantus Ree. I like to call her about once a moon, else she gets a little too much night. Not enough stalker, you know? Two, K. 
Keep your weapons sharp. Your job's to watch everyone's back, which means no one's watching yours but you. And three, start thinking now about what you want to do for your successor's vanguard dare. Because trust me, kid, this gig will kill you. Sorry, I'm just, I'm imagining how awkward you must look right now. <laughs> okay, Zavala. So, I'm dead. You killed me. My stuff is yours. No more working me over at chess. No more getting worked over at poker. For real, though. You know that if you needed to kill me for the good of the city or whatever, I totally understand. No hard feelings. Nada. You can put this voice recording away and go on with your life. Now, if you did have some kind of lingering guilt or something, that would be rough. Because you and I both know you'd have me yapping in your ear for the rest of your days. You wouldn't be able to help yourself. Hi, Igora. So you know I'm making a bunch of these, right? I probably told you. I always gotta have the last word, and I'm gonna be prepared for every possibility. But to tell the truth, this one's the easiest to make. So long as we're being honest, I could never tell if you really liked me that much. But, uh, well, if you did hate me, the feeling was not mutual. In fact, yeah, I'll say it. Don't even mind that you killed me. I figure if we threw down, first off, no one can blame me for losing. And... I know you'd be in the right. So, thanks, I guess. You were a, a good friend. Better than a guy like me could hope for anyway. So, yeah, thanks, Nikora, for everything. This one's for the strong silent type, you. Congratulations, buddy, I mean that. Always knew you'd outdo me someday. And if that means you had to do me in, too, well, you saved my life on Nessus, so I owed it to you anyway. Take care of the Ace of Spades, will you? I'm not just talking about the maintenance. Banshee can help you with all that. I mean, take care of Ace. Use it well. Oh, hey, and if you found any of those papers from my earlier... Uh, deployments? Burn them. Don't want people poking through the lives of Kate Zero through Five. So just put it all behind you, okay? Every story has an end. This is mine.